This is the, this literally the first time the robot has operated without a tether was on stage tonight. Yeah, we wanted to show a little bit more what we've done over the past few months with the bot and just walking around and dancing on stage. Uh, just humble beginnings, but uh, you can see the autopilot neural networks running as is, just retrained for the bot uh, directly on that on that new platform. That's yeah. my watering can. Yeah, when you when you see a rendered view, that's that's the robot. What's the that's the world the robot sees. So it's it's it very clearly identifying objects. We use the same process as we did for autopilot to collect data and train neural networks that we then deploy on the robot. Uh, that's an example that illustrates the upper body a little bit more. And Something that we'll really like try to nail down in a few months, over the next few months, I would say. Holy f***ing shit. This is coming from a deluded Tesla fanboy who already had high expectations of Tesla's humanoid robot. I'm stunned. I'm blown away. I literally cannot believe what I've just seen. In this video, a quick recap and some highlights from this truly stunning presentation that, as I predicted, Analysts won't understand, Wall Street won't understand, the finance media won't understand, the Tesla Q virgins will think is further evidence of Elon being a fraud, Tesla retail investors might, at least in part, understand, and AI and robotics experts will be nutting all over. And before we get into it, if you want to instantly unlock over 100 exclusive videos, plus my 10-year Tesla stock price targets and loads of other perks, including optional access to my Tesla valuation model, join our growing community of thousands of supporters on Patreon with the link in the pinned comment. You can also pick up some Tesla, Elon, and investment theme merch in the merch store. All right, let's get straight into my notes. Full of typos, hot off the press. Who gives a f Let's get into it. Elon's opening remarks. The most important statement in the entire presentation was this. Elon was describing that what Tesla is doing with their humanoid robot could, will, lead to AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. The video is done. Just read this one line over and over and over and over until you understand the implications. Seriously, everything else is completely f***ing irrelevant. This is the one line. What Tesla is doing with the Optimus bot could lead to Artificial General Intelligence. Seriously, f*** the rest of the video. That's all you need to know, right there. No one's going to be talking about this. I guarantee it will not appear in the mainstream media. The analysts won't mention it whatsoever, but this is the most important thing in the entire AI Day 2022 presentation. In the intro there, we saw the bot walk out. Now this apparently is called Bumble C, I guess because it bumbles around, it's not exactly great. I don't know if that's exactly the name, but anyway, the point is walked out slow and steady, waved to the audience, did some very slow motion hand pumps as well, has a full self-driving computer on its chest. That's what's actually running the robot. And Elon disclosed that this is the first time the robot has walked without a tether, literally on stage during the f***ing presentation. I mean, <laughs> they are seriously moving forward on this project with a true sense of extreme urgency. Also, shout out to Tesla for the size of their f***ing nuts. Can you imagine? The very first time your humanoid robot, latest version, is out on stage walking without a tether is while you're live streaming a presentation at AI Day 2022 to the entire world. This is asking for Cybertruck Windows Smash Part 2. Didn't trip over. Elon also pointed out that the robot can do a bunch of other things, but they didn't want it to fall on its face and have another Cybertruck window moment. So they showed some videos of what it's capable of doing in other situations. This included picking up and putting down a box demo and also showing the robot's eye view, what the robot is actually seeing. Picking up a watering can, some footage of the robot actually working in the actual Fremont factory where they actually produce actual vehicles. And a bit of a teaser, that's not the only thing we have to show today. And unbelievably, like at this point in time, my brain starts completely f***ing breaking. I'm already like, holy shit! it walked, it didn't fall over, and it can pick up and move things. I said in previous videos, I will be stunned, blown away, if Tesla's humanoid robot can walk, even if clunkily, and pick up and move some basic objects. And they demoed both of these things, and then, if that wasn't enough, they brought out the next iteration. That's right, simultaneously working on multiple versions. The first version we saw, probably using a lot of off-the-shelf actuators, bits and parts, cobbled together, just to get the basic concept running. Version two, which isn't quite capable of walking it without falling flat on its face, but a couple of weeks away and it will be able to. The second version of Tesla's Optimus bot has fully Tesla designed actuators and design. As I said, can't walk yet, but will within a few weeks. Version one of the Optimus bot can move all fingers independently, has opposable thumbs, can operate tools, do useful things, but unfortunately, sorry guys and girls, actually just guys, no superhuman hand jobs. 
yet. If you don't get the reference, uh, check out my Twitter. Quote, our goal is to make a useful humanoid robot as soon as possible. And I do just want to underscore as soon as possible. I mean, they really aren't f***ing around. This is the first ever time a Tesla presentation started on time. They blew through the information super quick, really efficient. And they already have a new iteration of the version of the thing they just, I mean, bro, they are not f***ing around. I don't think people are going to understand the amount of focus and the sense of urgency in executing this project. Tesla are moving as fast as they f***ing can. The robot is being designed to be able to be manufactured at scale. So it's possible to make the robot in high volume, at low cost, with high reliability. This is in stark contrast to all of the other humanoid robots currently available. They're low volume, extremely expensive, not designed for high volume manufacturing. Also, other bots are missing a brain. They don't have the intelligence to navigate the world by themselves. They're also very expensive and made in low volume. By the way, all the quotes here aren't going to be word for word. I was just transcribing roughly as I was listening, so please be aware, these aren't perfect quotes. Optimus is designed to be a very high volume robot and cost much less than a car. Probably less than $20,000 would be my guess. Now for the record, I'm personally estimating at high volume, these things are about 25 grand. It's been in my Tesla valuation model for, I don't know, six plus months, maybe 12 months. Feel free to fact check me if you're on Patreon, you've already got a copy. If not, you can join Patreon with the card in the corner or the link in the pinned comment. The point is, <laughs> I think $20,000 is feasible. Factoring in some Elon time and over optimism, let's assume it's gonna be around 25 grand, give or take. Once ramped to high volume. Before that, very fucking expensive. The point is, it'll be much cheaper than a vehicle. Elon also points out, quote, the potential of Optimus is appreciated by very few people. Completely agree. Also, there's still a lot of work to do to refine and improve Optimus, hence holding the event. The point of Tesla AI Day 2022 is to recruit the world's best to work on this and bring it to fruition at scale and help millions of people. Some more thoughts out loud about what is an economy? It's really productive entities multiplied by output. Elon also going on to describe that Tesla humanoid robots providing useful labor in the marketplace. At that point, an economy becomes quasi-infinite. Please take a moment, let that one sink in. No, seriously, pause the f***ing video. Read this line, just let it sink in. Quasi-infinite economy. The result of Tesla massively expanding said economy. Practically everyone watching here is a Tesla stock investor. I'm not going to put two and two together for you. I just really want you guys to dwell on this comment until it sinks in. Quote, this means a future of abundance, a future where there is no poverty, where you can have whatever you want in terms of products and services. Now, I know for a fact... <laughs> The Tesla Q virgins are going to have a fucking field day with this. Uh, he wants a fraud, uh, no poverty. Uh. I can just see it right now. But he is right. This requires vision, a brain, and the ability to look far into the future and understand the implications. This is a serious project. Make no mistake. Quote, it really is a fundamental transformation of civilization. As we know it again, pause the video, let that sink in. This is not hyperbole. Elon also emphasizing that we want to make sure that transformation is a positive one and safe. And interestingly, quote, if the public doesn't like what Tesla is doing, the public can buy shares of Tesla and vote differently. Elon adding, it's very important that the corporate entity that makes this happen is something the public can properly influence. Just want to take a moment to talk about this. It's so important. I've been having nightmares and losing a huge amount of sleep over some of the scenarios with AI, super intelligent robots and so on. My nightmare, my actual nightmare is Facebook in particular, having a first mover advantage with artificial intelligence, humanoid robots. I mean, this is heart attack right here, nightmares. Actually, my worst nightmare would be a government, but I mean, bro, as if a government's ever gonna do anything first and better than anyone else. <laughs> but aside from that unrealistic scenario, literally been losing sleep about this Facebook scenario for years. Same with Google. No offense to these companies, but this is really important. Of all the companies on the planet to be custodians of what will ultimately become a super intelligent humanoid robot, I'm gonna sleep a lot better at night knowing that Tesla is on course. Quote, self-driving cars will certainly have a tremendous impact on the world. Improve the quality of transport by one half to one order of magnitude. Optimus Bot probably has two orders of magnitude improvement in economic output as a starting point. More comments from Elon in terms of the economy and the impact of Optimus Bot. Quote, it's not clear what the limit actually is. We need to do this carefully and safely and ensure the output is one that is beneficial to civilization and one that humanity wants. Quote, at Tesla, we really care about doing the right thing. And again, I wanna underscore, we had a timeline recap. Last year, the bot concept, I mean, nothing working, just a concept for a bot. And then the development platform, which we saw walk out, move some boxes around in February, 2022. It took six months to go from a concept to a working, functional platform. And in parallel, Tesla is also designing the latest generation, which is rooted in their vehicle design. On to the latest generation again. Please take a moment to contemplate the fact the Tesla unveils version one or version 0.42 and then minutes later goes, you know what? We've also been working on the next iteration already. Here it is in the same 
fucking presentation. You guys understand the implications here, right? They are not fucking around. As I said, extreme urgency. They are in a hurry. Some quick nerdy stats, power consumption, 100 watts while sitting. By the way, there was a contrast with how inefficient humans are. The metabolic requirements for a human just sitting here right now, maybe even me recording a video on YouTube, such an inefficient body. Tesla bot being designed to have extremely low power usage when in idle mode. Power consumption of 500 watts with brisk walking, weighs 73 kilograms, and as I mentioned, super low energy consumption when idle. Obviously, as always, the best part is no part, so Tesla are reducing the part count and power consumption of every element possible. There is a big focus on mass production. The battery, 2.3 kilowatt hours, perfect for approximately a full day of work. And everything is integrated into the battery pack all in one place. Tesla is leveraging their vehicle and energy products to roll all of the key features into the battery. That includes streamlining manufacturing, because everything's in one place, streamlined thermal management, and so on. Some information about the brain of the Tesla bot, all the usual tech here, including Wi-Fi and audio, so the thing can speak to you. And here, security and safety features embedded as well. So the Tesla bot is capable of processing vision, seeing stuff, recognizing it, planning and acting based on that, making decisions and communications. 28 structural actuators, 11 degrees of freedom in the hands, now, a little bit more nerdy stuff in terms of structural analysis, powertrain, car versus robot. Tesla actually used their car crash software to simulate the bot falling so they could make it sturdy and resilient. It's important to understand because the bot is designed for mass production and it needs to be economical to purchase, it needs to be made from affordable materials, which does present some challenges. Pretty easy to make a fairly indestructible bot if you're using titanium for everything, but it's not gonna be economical to do that. We also saw some really nerdy stuff about knees and how fucking hard they are. Tesla showed some epic simulations to optimize. It really does go to show Tesla's software and data capability shining through. Onto the hand design, something I tweeted about yesterday, caused quite a shit storm. Humans are incredibly dexterous. Our hands have tens of thousands of tactical sensors and biology inspired the robotic hand design makes sense. The Tesla bot features metallic tendons which are both flexible and strong, and it's also optimized for gripping small, thin, and delicate objects. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> has six actuators, adaptive grasp, can carry a 20 pound bag, use tools, and has precision grip. Now onto neural networks and walking. Tesla was able to pull from autopilot the exact same occupancy network. Remember that guy on YouTube who keeps saying FSD created the foundational building block of what will go into the Tesla bot and ultimately become AGI? Foundational building block, occupancy network, bang. See, I've talked about this before. No one else has this data right. People aren't getting this. Well, Tesla's never made a robot before. Boston Dynamics is so much further ahead. No, the only thing that changed was the training data. You guys do understand. The reason I've been saying foundational building block of AGI going into the bot is because it was true and it was obvious. Tesla has a huge advantage in developing intelligent humanoid robots that are capable of interacting with objects in the real world. No one else has their data. No one else can pull the stuff from autopilot and put it in a humanoid robot. No one's catching Tesla and people don't get this. We saw some great examples, including volumetric depth rendering. Let me explain something. No other company on the planet starting at the same point in time as Tesla did on their humanoid robot could have made even close to the progress. I mean, like maybe at best, they'd be like half a percent as far along as Tesla is because they didn't have that foundational building block. I hope you guys understand this. I know I'm laboring the point, but it really fucking matters. A little bit more on the timeline. First version of the bot takes its first steps in April, 2022. Pelvis is unlocked in July, 2022. Arms, August 2022. Toes, September 2022. Very clunky start. As we know, reality is way more complex than any model. And as Tesla emphasized, a robot that walks is not enough. It needs to be able to use its hands and arms to be useful. And now onto manipulation, not the kind that the Tesla Q virgins talk about. Manipulation of objects. The goal is for the Tesla bot to be able to manipulate objects while looking as natural as possible. And in terms of actually walking and taking steps, Tesla starting with a library of motion references, e.g. motion capture on humans, then applied to the bot. The bot then takes those actions in the real world and adapts, learns, and optimizes trajectory. After all, the real world is very different to a simulation. There's vibrations, there's noise on the sensors, there's all kinds of stuff. In short, reality is complicated and chaotic. So you need this whole process. Start with some motion references, deploy them in the real world, figure out what doesn't work, adapt and optimize. And now finally, what's next for the Tesla Optimus bot? It's usable, but far from useful. Tesla has a long road ahead. The goal is to get Optimus, as in the second version of the Tesla bot, on par with Bumble C in the next few weeks. In other words, able to walk, to locomote, bipedally, without a tether, without falling flat on its face. Their expectation that we're able to do this within the next few weeks. And then to focus on real use case in Tesla's Fremont factory. As I said in the intro, I'm absolutely blown away 
by how much progress Tesla has made. Now, of course, the Tesla Q virgins, the Elon haters, are going to say, well, of course, you're a Tesla fanboy, of course. Why wouldn't you be blown away? Everything he does, Elon D rider, right? Oh, I love Elon. Anything he does, it's magic. But no, you see, prior to Tesla's AI Day 2, I explained what I would need to see to be blown away and said, I don't think it's going to happen. If they make this progress, I'll be f***ing stunned, but I don't think it's going to happen. Well, guess what? I was wrong. Once again, I massively underestimated Tesla. They literally did blow me away. I am stunned at how much progress has been made. Once again, Elon fanboy, dickhead on YouTube, underestimated the company out loud. Again, I'm never going to learn, am I? There'll be plenty more covering Tesla's AI day. We're just focusing on the bot in this video. So stay tuned for those. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what everyone thought about Tesla's Optimus bot, their rate of progress and their future prospects. And just finally, once again, want to remind everybody exactly how the world will react to what they've seen. The reason I predicted this ahead of time in a recent tweet was just so I could point and go, told ya. The irony here is I've already seen some of the reactions from the Tesla Q virgins on Twitter. And what can I say? I called it to a T. So here's how the world reacts. The media and analysts will be disappointed and say that this is a distraction. They should just focus on EVs, blah, blah, blah. The general public is not really going to have much to say other than, can I f*** it? The Tesco virgins, of course, will claim it's a stock pump, Elon's a fraud, and in doing so will once again signal to the world that they not only hate themselves, but they live in their mum's basement and are a virgin and are projecting their own self-hatred and insecurities onto Elon Musk and Tesla. AI and robotics experts will be super impressed and Tesla retail investors will be calling for a cleanup on aisle three. Stay tuned to some early reactions over the weekend and the rest early next week. And lastly, if you appreciate this video, you enjoy the content, the fact that I'm busting my ass to get this out as soon as possible, you can support the channel and unlock a ton of exclusive content and perks by joining Patreon with the card in the corner or the link at the pinned comment. And to celebrate Tesla's AI day and the epic reveal of the humanoid robot, how much progress Tesla has made, some super limited edition merch is currently available in the merch store. If you'd like your own Tesla bot made with love merch designs, their shirts, mugs, hoodies, and so on, Check out the link in the pinned comment. This merch is limited edition, won't be available long. Last year I did some limited edition merch. A lot of people thought I was joking and got really upset because they put off buying one. This will not last for long. Don't say I didn't warn you. So check out the links in the pinned comment. See you guys soon. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem and I love you all. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel and instantly unlock over 100 exclusive videos plus my 10 year Tesla stock price targets and loads of other perks, including optional access to my Tesla valuation model, join our growing community of thousands of supporters on Patreon with the link in the pinned comment. You can also pick up some Tesla, Elon and investment themed merch in the merch store. And if you're still watching, you're awesome. Please let me know your thoughts on today's video in the comments below and click the card on screen now to watch the next video.